Are you seeing Janice? I said, are you fucking Janice, Steve? Well, it's her you've been calling late every night and I know it is because I've checked your phone, so don't lie to me! I called the office last week, Steve. They said you were out having lunch. Sure I knew where you'd be. La Forchetta, where you always go. And you'd be sitting where you always sit, that single table by the window. And you'd be straightening your tablecloth, you'd clean your knife and fork with your serviette and you'd ask the waitress for a Diet Coke with ice and lemon. You'd spend ages looking at the menu and then order what you always order. Escalope a with side order of peas. Any garlic bread, sir? Oh, you think about it for a moment, frowning, and then say what you always say. No. When the meal arrives, you'll have pepper, but only on the veal, please. You'll cut the meat up into exactly the same size little bits. You won't look at the person sitting opposite you. Not once. You won't ask them how their meal is or tell them how yours is. And when you're done, you'll just move your empty plate to another table immediately and gaze out the window. You'll ask for the dessert menu and in the end, you'll settle for a cappuccino. And then you'll go to the bathroom and clean your teeth with that fucking little airport toothbrush you keep in your breast pocket. And you'll suck a peppermint so strong it makes your eyes water. Then you'll come back to the table, you'll pay with your credit card and leave a 10% tip worked out to the last decimal point. And then you'll say, no rest for the wicked. And at some point along the way back to the office, you'll say how you've eaten too much and you should go to the gym, but the person you're with says, Nah, you look fine just as you are. I got used to. But it's not me anymore, Steve, is it? It's Janice.